General Mathbatol. Crossroads of nearly a thousand lives. A sanctuary, a haven, an edifice dedicated to the needs of those whose mathematical health is threatened. Dr. Practice, Dr. Malpractice, we're about to double an area. Please report to my area on the double. You say your patient has water on the knee? That's right. What are you going to do? Wear a slicker so I don't get splashed. There's a lot of water on the knee? Eight feet at the deep end. Eight feet. Hmm. That is terrible. Well, not really. There's a lifeguard on duty till 10. Dr. Practice, am I glad to see you? I have no idea. About what? Whether you're glad to see me or not. A rectangle was admitted. We need to double its area. Ooh, who's in charge of the case? That's just it. Our intern is in charge. Not that nerdy student, Dr... Precisely. Dr. Precisely. I don't think he's qualified to handle the procedure. Well, that's why I called you, Dr. Practice. Mm, you did the right thing. This time. Thank you, Doctor. I'm trying. Me, you're telling me. Oh, they're in OR. OR? Operating room. Is the patient anesthetized, Dr. Sleep? Out like a light. Good, because the first part of this operation hurts like a son of a gun. Did you bring the extra parts? Right here, Dr. Precisely. Did you get them from the organ donor? I couldn't find an organ donor, so I got them from a piano donor. That was upright of you. No, it was grand. Never mind, it's a good tale, so we can always spin it. <laughs> Are you Dr. Precisely? Not exactly. You're not exactly precisely? No, I'm not exactly a doctor. I'm a student intern, but I play a doctor on TV. Close enough. Now, show me what you're about to do. He's about to double this patient's area. Ah, and what is your patient's size, Dr. Precisely? It is exactly... two feet wide by five feet long. And now, what is its area? That's the stuff in the middle. I know that, but what is the area and how did you determine it? To find my patient's area, I merely multiplied the length times the width. See, five times two is ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. See, ten one-foot squares. Uh, I am impressed. Perhaps I've misjudged you, Dr. Precisely. You're not as stupid as everyone says. Oh, you've been talking to Mom again. What we're going to do next is take this hammer and knock the rectangle all apart. Yeah, that's what these boards are for. We're going to use them to double the length and double the width. I take it back. I take it all back. You are exactly what everyone says precisely. Let's go to a diagram, shall we? This is a drawing of your patient. It is two feet by five feet. Yes, and to find the area, I multiplied two times five, and I got ten. Now, Dr. Precisely, show me what you're about to do. I will double it thusly. I will make it twice as wide, four feet instead of two, and twice as long, ten feet instead of five. Now, there we go, kids. Now, will the area double as well? You would think so. I Oh, I see what Dr. Malpractice is driving at. Look, Dr. Precisely, the area more than doubles. It quadruples. What? Let me see that. Four times ten is forty. Yikes. It's supposed to be twenty. You see, you've made your rectangle too large. To double an area, you need only double one of the dimensions. You can double the length, or you can double the width, but not both. Oh, sure. I get it. Look at this. We can double the width from two to four and keep the length the same. Four times five is 20. Exactly. Or we can double the length and keep the width the same. Five becomes 10 times two is 20. <laughs> of course, the rectangle would be so large, you probably wouldn't get it out of OR. <laughs> or? Operating room. Or we could do it yet another way. We could change the width to one and the length to 20. That would really be unwieldy. I'll say. Besides, what would you be able to do with a 20-foot-tall rectangle? <laughs> Send it to Shape College on a basketball scholarship. 
Thank you, Dr. Practice. Call me Mal. Thank you, Mal Practice. I guess I'll be seeing you in court. <laughs> And so, once again, common sense and geometry have solved another problem at General Mathbital, crossroads of nearly 1,000 lives. Until next time, stay healthy and may the math be with you.